In this video, I'll be going over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can import and export your content calendars from Notion to ClickUp and vice versa. It's a pretty simple process of exporting your CSV files and then importing onto the new platform. And you can also take these same steps to any other project management platform like Trello, Asana, and Airtable to name a few. We'll be leaving links down below if you guys wanna check out both of the platforms. And yeah, I'll be taking you guys through my own Notion and ClickUp calendars. So feel free to follow along with me with your own content calendars pulled up. Okay, so here I am on my Notion workspace. And the first thing I'm gonna need to do is create a content calendar. So I'll just show you guys really quick. If you guys wanna learn more about content calendars, then we actually have a video on StartupWise that teaches you how to create content calendars on Notion and ClickUp, along with a bunch of other tips and tricks that you can learn about the content calendars. So for my workspace, I have a bunch of team spaces and I also have a private. So right here, I'm just gonna click on the plus sign and I'm gonna create a page and I'm gonna name it content calendar test. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a board view. So I'm gonna go ahead and type slash board and create that board view and click on new database. From here, I can call it content calendar. I'll go ahead and click on the top three dots right here and I'll click on full width. And from here, I can add another view. So let's say I wanna add a table view. So I just click on done right here. So cool, now I have my content calendar where I can view it as a table and as a board. So let's say, uh, let's just rename this video one, video two, and video three. Now we can go inside and we can add some stuff. So let's say uh, this is the intro. So intro of the video and outro. You know, this is just where we script out the entire video. And from here, if you guys wanna export the CSV file, then you're gonna go ahead and click on the top right-hand corner where it has the three dots. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on export. From here, it's gonna give you some options on which format that you wanna export in. So it gives you the option to export into PDF, HTML, and Markdown and CSV. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on CSV. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna include all the content or if you just wanna include the text so no files and no images. For this, I'll just choose everything. And it'll also ask you if you wanna include any subpages. This basically means that if you have, let's say a subpage, so let me create a page within the page, right? So it's gonna be this page within the page that we have. Basically, it's gonna export that as well. So I'm gonna go back to where it says export, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on export. From here, you can see that it exported it into a zip file. Here it is as a zip file. And if I double click on the zip file, it's gonna open up as a CSV document. From here, I'm gonna go over to my ClickUp, and if I want to import, then I'll go to the bottom left-hand corner. And then right here where it says import slash export, I'll click on that. And it says start export or start import. So right here, I'm going to click on start import and it'll ask me which source to import from. So as you guys can see, you can choose Excel or CSV, Asana, Monday.com, Trello, and all these other CRM platforms. For this one, we're going to choose Excel and CSV. So we'll click on that. And from here, you can either manually enter in your data. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up my files and then I'm going to drag the CSV file onto the page. For here, it's gonna ask you if the selected row contains column headers. So if you guys see right here, it's pointing to row number one. And so if you guys want this as your column, then you just click on yes. And it's basically gonna match up all of your columns with your tasks inside. So from here, you can just click on review. And if there are any rows with any problems, then it'll pop up on here for you to change. If not, then you just click on continue and it asks you if you're ready to submit. So we'll click on yes. And then it's gonna ask you which space that you wanna import it to. So for this one, I'll just import it into my default space. But for you guys, you guys might have separate space called like YouTube. So you guys can have different content calendars for different channels. But for this one, I'll just import it into my default space and I'll click on next. And it's gonna ask you how you wanna map your statuses. And you can choose to map this to the open status or the closed status for all of your imported stuff. For now, I'll just keep this as create new status cause I can change it. And then I'll click on complete. Once that's done, it's gonna tell me that the import is now in progress and that they're gonna send me an email as soon as the import is ready. Okay, so now it says your import has been completed and so I'm gonna go back and once I go back then I'll go to my space and from here I can see that it's imported from CSV and I can see that it created a new status called not started and you can see inside it says video 1 video 2 and video 3 just like how we labeled it on notion so now I'm gonna show you guys how to export a CSV file from ClickUp and then import it onto notion now if you guys want to export everything in your workspace so this would include the team operations and the space view then what I would have to do is click on the bottom left hand corner and then click on import or export and
And uh, right here where it says start export, I just click on that and I'll see it's gonna export all the data from your workspace. And uh, from here, I'll just click on start export and then download that CSV file. But if you guys just wanna export a single list, then uh, what you would do is go to that list and then up at the top right hand corner where you see the three dots, you'll click on that and then you're gonna click on export view. From here, it's gonna give you some options on what to export. So if you wanna only export the visible columns, you can do that or you can export task names only, all columns, and you can also change the file format so you can export it as a CSV file, which is what we want. Or you can export it as an Excel file. You can change the date format as well for the export as well as the time format. But for now, we'll just keep this as it is and we'll just click on download. And as you guys can see, it downloaded right here as a CSV file. And from here, I'll go up to Notion and then right here where it says import, I'll click on that. And it's gonna give you a bunch of different options, right? So Trello, Asana, all these different platforms that you can import into Notion. But for this one, we'll choose the CSV option. So we'll click on that and then we'll import the CSV file that we just downloaded. From here, you can see that it imported the exact space that I exported from ClickUp. And from here, it's gonna give you a bunch of different properties that Notion automatically assigns to you. But if you guys want, you guys can just click on each one and then click on delete property. So if I want, I just keep due date and then take out the priority right here. So yeah, you guys can mess around with all that to your liking. And yeah, you pretty much now have a duplicate of your list that you had on here for ClickUp and you basically put it into your Notion. So yeah, it works either way. And it also works with different platforms as well. As you guys saw from clicking on the import and export button that it does support Trello and Asana most of the time. And if you guys use a different platform like Airtable, then you guys can just export the CSV file from that platform as well. And then just repeat the same process. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys got some value out of it. And also feel free to reference back to this video at any time. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more how-to guides and tutorials like this. This channel is dedicated to helping new entrepreneurs start their own business, as well as new content creators that want to learn how to build their systems. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.